Hello guys, I'm Minecraft with Dummies, and today I've got a rain detector. So it does what it says on the tin. If it's a lovely sunny day like this, the light will be on. However, as soon as the weather turns bad, you can see that the light will turn off after a very short period. So there you go, there's the light turning off now. And this light will just stay off as long as it's raining. However, as soon as the weather clears up again, the light will actually come back on, which you'll see just now. See, it's actually done it very quickly. So to build it, you're going to need the items you can see in my inventory, and you're going to want a 5x4 space to build it in. So you're going to start by knocking out one of the corner blocks and replacing it with a dispenser facing upwards, and then we're going to put a sticky piston facing this way, and this is basically going to be the bud. Then you're going to get some redstone, put it here, then there's going to be a block here, redstone torch, then there's going to be a block carrying up the power and bring it all the way over to the bud. So then you're going to put a redstone repeater here and here, leave them both as they are. And now you can see we have our T bud. So if we put a up, if we make an update, the block will be pushed there. And if we update it again, it will just be brought back. Now to create the timing circuit, you're just going to put a bunch of little bunch of blocks here and then some blocks like this. Now you're going to put redstone here and here and so when this um, when the bug gets activated this torch will come on and these will be powered up and then we're going to send these into a timing circuit as I said so we're just going to use a little comparator pulse lengthener so just do the comparators like I've done just there a block here and a piece of redstone there see now if we cause an update to the block you can see the circuit will come on and it will stay on until we remove the block and then the circuit will um, the power will then decrease. Now from here we're going to take a redstone torch. This is going to go into a piece of redstone here, put another one there. Then you're going to get a comparator here and two more like this. You can put a block here, piece of redstone here and this one going into a block as well. And this is basically just another timing circuit that I'll explain about in a moment. Now the final thing that we need to do is just come all the way down here, knock out this block, go down like this and then knock out that down there and then put a repeater in here and you're going to want to put that on two ticks so just click it once I'll just remove this so, you can, so I can get to it and then on the other side of this, so this is powering into this block you're going to put a redstone torch here and this is what's going to cause the fire to turn on so now we've built the whole thing, we're just going to get a whole bunch of flint and steel because this actually does use quite a lot of flint and steel, you're going to want a lot and you're just going to put them all in the dispenser now that we've got it in this state, all you're going to have to do is update the block and then update it again by removing that block and the fire will turn on and it will work from now on so the output as I said it can go over here and when it's not raining the light will be on however when it is raining the light will turn off and you can do what you want with that so you can make it go into a command block to make it um, make the weather clear so this would be good on a creative world or an adventure map or you could even just have it in your house so if you live in a cave you could just stick this in and then put, have you could have a lamp telling you whether it's um, nice outside or not but do be warned, you are going to need to have um, all the spaces above this leading to air. Otherwise, um, obviously the rain won't get down. So this needs to be in a space where rain can reach it. Otherwise, it obviously won't work. So now we're just going to give this a little test ride. The rain comes on. And then after a couple of seconds, this light will turn off telling you that it's raining. And this will just continue to activate and the light will stay off until you, the weather turns to um, clear again and then the light comes on. Now bear in mind if you do have this running all the time you are going to need a fair bit of flint and steel because as you may know flint and steel does actually wear down a bit so you might want to um, have a hopper going into it with more flint and steel if you are using this all the time so you could just put one here and then put a chest above it or you could just if you don't want to use any more space than is needed you could just take this out and put a hopper down there and fill it up with flint and steel as I said. Now before I go I'd just like to say that the initial idea for this sort of um, rain detector was actually by DTV97 so he used a T-Bud similar to this and he used a comparator clock as well I believe but it was a bit manual, it, it was actually activated manually and stuff like that but he's a really cool YouTuber and he comes up with a lot of neat little tricks and has redstone as well so definitely check out his channel it'll be on the screen now and in the description. But that is all there is for this episode guys, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time.